You've known the Buddhahood for 15 years. What gifts can communities like ours offer the wider church, and what are the, the dangers, things to, to work on? I think like communities that have been around for centuries or communities like yours that have been around for generations now and continue to reproduce these the, the, with vitality, like they, they, we have so much to learn that there's nothing new under the sun, so let's learn from these other folks. And the more diverse our cloud of witnesses is, the better off we are. One of the things that, I, it was actually visiting your community um, uh, up at Woodcrest, I think, when, when we we got some tools for our toolbox, and a couple of them were to create a culture where uh, confession comes natural, you know, where the, we, we make space for people to say, I'm sorry. And that's something that you, is very countercultural in our world, the idea of confession and repentance. And so, like, I think that's been, we, we, we still have that in us, you know, so when we do make mistakes, we can say we're sorry, we can confess them. And the other one is straight talk, is being able to talk directly to each other. And we always have to keep correcting that, like, as it's a deliberate environment to say, um, we're not going to talk at or around each other. We're going to talk with each other. We respect each other enough to do that. Benedict talked a lot about that. He talks about murmuring, and it's different from gossip. He distinguishes it from gossip. He says, murmuring is about negativity. It's about talking negatively about each other and creating an environment that's toxic for community. And he said, you may even have a valid claim. You know, Pete, he never does his dishes. He doesn't clean up after himself. That actually might be true. Um, but what you've done is more toxic than that. Like we can deal with Pete's, you know. <laughs> but like, but I. So I think those are those have been really important.